everyone, welcome back to New Year, New You. Today I'm going to do a makeup look because some of the other ones have been kind of like just chatty talky videos and I thought I'd do a going out makeup look so if you're going to a party, if you're going out um, in an evening or just want to have a kind of prettier, fancier look and this is for you. It's a really nice purple smoky eye and it's really really simple and easy to do. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and done my foundation just to start off with, but I haven't applied anything underneath my eyes because as you can see on this one, there's some fallout from the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to wipe that up at the end and then apply my concealer underneath at the end. But all I've done so far is prime this eye here with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin, although you can use anything that you want. Next I'm using a lilac shade and I'm using this one, Rapture, here, though feel free to swap any colours that you want. Now I'm just going to pat this all over the lid to start off with and it doesn't matter if it's messy, we're just going to apply the colour. Once we've got the colour on then we're going to take a blending brush like this one and we're just going to softly blend it. So you just want to kind of use circular motions and have the brush at the end holding like this so that it's nice and gentle and fluent movements. Next I'm going to take this lilac glittery shade here and because it has quite a lot of fallout I'm just going to pat it onto the brush and then pat it onto my lid. Next I'm just going to take a very light shimmery colour I'm going to be using this one here and I'm just going to apply this in the kind of tear duct area. And also on the very inner, innest, <laughs> the very inside part of the eye. Next, okay, so I'm going to take a dark purple shade like this one here, and I'm just going to pop this on the outermost corner. Next, I'm going to take a gel liner. This is a Maybelline one, but you can use a pencil or liquid liner, whatever you want. But I'm just going to um, firstly tight line, so that's this bit. Here. And you don't have to do this step, but it just gives the appearance of thicker lashes. I'm also going to line my waterline. And I'm going to run a very thin line across my top lashes. And you want to kind of do small lines and then join them up because I find that if I'm drawing one whole long line I'm bound to make a mistake. Next I'm going to take a black shadow on a liner brush and just run that along the top and this will correct any mistakes if you made any just kind of darken and smoke it out a little bit. Then with the same brush I'm going to use the purple that we use on the outer corner here and then just run it um, underneath my lower lashes. Finally I'm just going to take a light highlight colour, kind of like this one here, but any kind of neutral shade will do. And I'm just going to pop this underneath my brow, just to highlight and bring it all together. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this brown shadow here, just through my brows. Just filling in any kind of sparse areas. And I'm applying the Colossal by Maybelline. But you could add some false eyelashes if you wanted as well. Okay, I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm just going to apply an illuminating concealer just underneath my eyes. So I just used a um, makeup wipe underneath to clear up all the glitter and the fallout from the shadows. Then I'm just going to take a loose powder, this is by Natural Collection, and I'm just going to powder my skin so that all the foundation stays in place throughout the night and I don't look all shiny. Then I'm just using a Rimmel Blush, this is in the shade Santa Rose, and it's just a really nice natural colour, so we don't want to overpower the eye makeup with our cheeks. I'm just going to slightly contour my cheeks with a bronzer. So just through the hollows here and up to the temples. I'm just going to use a little bit of this MAC Minimalize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle I think it is. 
I'm just going to apply this on the tops of my cheekbones with a bit of highlight. Finally for the lips I'm going to use um, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Plum Jam. So this is the finished going out look, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you try this look out then definitely tweet me a picture and my Twitter is at JennyWales28 because I'd love to see your recreations. I hope you found this helpful and if you haven't already then click the subscribe button and leave a comment telling me what you think. So that's this video finished and I'll see you in a couple of days with the next New Year New You video.